I'll start by saying what a thrill it is to see this here uh, today. What a thrill it was uh, to see it come aboard base. I have to admit, I wasn't there at zero dark 30 in the morning when it came through. Some people were. I slept in, I'm sorry. Uh, but I did follow it cross country, all the UFO reports as it moved across in the truck. Um, seriously, uh, back in 2009 when we had our uh, program challenges and we looked, uh, looked forward, uh, there, were, there were many doubters. Uh, I'll tell you one who was not a doubter, and that was the former CNO and the current CNO. There was no doubt about the Navy's commitment. Uh, we knew that when we went to see him personally to explain where we were and how we were going to uh, continue to move forward. So there was no doubt, and there continues to be no doubt in the Navy and DOD's commitment. In fact, um, as many of you probably know, just a, one example of that will be visited in the upcoming weeks by uh, the Deputy Secretary of Defense and the, uh, and the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, and one of the first things they asked to, to come see um, is, uh, is UCAS. And the, and the NASIF. So uh, it just gives you an idea of the level of interest that, that there is on this program. Um, and you might say, well, heck, it's just a demonstrator. You know, it's not going to be operational. What's the significance? And so I would point out that uh, last year we celebrated the first 100 years of naval aviation. So we celebrated the centennial of naval aviation all throughout 2011. And the, traditionally, the event that marks the beginning of naval aviation is the flight of Eugene Ely uh, in Hampton Roads, the takeoff from the, from the uh, deck of the Birmingham. What few, few people don't realize is he didn't really actually return and land on a ship till months and months later. So we celebrate the takeoff, the launch of an aircraft from a naval vessel uh, at sea uh, in 1911. That was the event. I'd submit to you that uh, when this launches from the carrier, we'll be celebrating the second 100 years of naval aviation. And I would point out that that launch in 1911 was a demonstration. That was a demonstrator. It took years before we had real operational capability, but it showed the way to the nation and to the Navy. It showed them the future. That is what you all are doing here. That's what you've been doing, and that's what you'll continue to do. And it's far more than just this phenomenal aircraft, which frankly, some people said would never fly. They looked at the shape and said, oh no, you can't get in the air. It's not only flying, but it's frankly had a very, very clean first, what is it, 16 flights? 16 coming up, 17 with AV2. Um, it's done very well in flight test. Uh, it's moving through its envelope expansion. It moved through its envelope expansion very well. So, uh, but it's not just the air vehicle. And you know far better than I do how much is involved in this. It is obviously the software, the command and control. It is the ship integration. It is all the work that is being done to make this a system. Uh, and on top of that, it's things like uh, the autonomous air refueling which uh, the team finished up with last week, did phenomenally well uh, with uh, surrogate aircraft. The software has been tested, as, as Paul mentioned, on a surrogate F-18. There have been multiple ship installs on carriers uh, with, uh, with some government-developed software and network capability. Uh, so this is pushing the envelope on technology, it's pushing the envelope on integration, and, uh, and it is showing us the future. So as you finish up today, um, do what I saw one of the gents doing when I walked in. Go over to touch the little tip of the, of the wing. Don't touch it too hard, but touch the tip. Because you'll be touching a piece of naval aviation history. So I just want to thank you all, and I think we're going to recognize some folks who have helped make that possible. So thanks for the great support, and I can't wait to see first flight here at PAX, and I can't wait to see first launch from the carrier. Thank you.